The last thing we're going to learn in Activity 3 is about the warp effect on page 54. Open up a file called flower.jpg from your CD files. Open up flower, file, open, go to your four six weeks folder, unit one part three, and there's a file called flower.jpg. Just open it up. Click on flower, and we're going to go to the menu bar and choose effect, warp, and arc. And it opens up the warp options dialog box. Now we can change what type of warp we want. We can click preview to see what it looks like. We can warp it horizontal or vertical. Leave the warp options as the default setting for now. You'll have a chance to experiment with them in the next activity. Be sure to select the preview checkbox. Practice with several of the warp effects until you find one that you like and click OK. And we will save this as Warped Flowers. File, Save As, go to your Last Name Illustrator folder and we're going to save this as Warped Flowers. Click Save and OK. Now if you don't like what you just did with the Warp tool, you can always undo and retry it. Now I'm going to close this and we are going to open up a file called roses from our CD files. So file, open. You're going to go to your four, six weeks, unit one, part three, illustrator. And we're going to open up roses. You got this picture of uh, a rose. It looks like a f these are fake. Now click on the image of the roses. And we're going to go to the menu and go effect, warp, and we're going to choose a different warp effect this time. Choose any one that you want. And you can click preview. I chose flag and it kind of looks like a, it's waving like a flag. Now on the warp options dialog box, we're going to set the horizontal and vertical distortion by typing the values to determine the amount of horizontal and vertical distortion you want. Type 25 here and minus 50 here and I clicked OK and there you go. I'm going to click on the appearance palette go on window appearance. I can click on the warp that I'd like to remove just by clicking on that eye. Did everybody get that? You go window appearance and it has all the steps that we chose to change the appearance. So if you add several warps, I'm going to go effect, warp, and I'm going to choose arch. Apply a new effect. Click OK. Now I could show, not show the previous one, and show the new one. So you could add several effects and you could play around and see which one you like if you want to keep them all. But that's all done in the appearances palette. If you want to get rid of one, you just click on it and drag it down to the trash can and it goes away forever. You can also duplicate it or clear them all. You can add uh, more effects to it right there. Let's save this as a Warp 2. File, Save As, go to your 4 6 weeks, 1 8 Illustrator. We're going to save this as Warp 2 and save. And that is it. Thank you all for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.